the topic that we're going to cover today is tongue. The first part that we're going to do is the papilla of tongue. So first papilla that we're going to discuss is circumbilate papillae and the circumbilate papillae are also called bilate papillae. So if your exam says bilate, it's the same as circumbilate. So circumbilate papillae are situated, they're situated in front of sul uh, sul sulcus terminalis and the walls of the papillae have taste buds. For your understanding, I'm going to draw a little bit of it. So this is the tongue and this is the foramen cecum over here and this is the sulcus terminalis and over here we see these circumbilate papilla and over here. The next important papillae are the fungiform papillae. In size, the fungiform papillae are smaller than the circumvallate papillae. And uh, they are numerous and are present near the tip of the tongue. So if you see this diagram, you'll see that the uh, fungiform papillae are present over here and at these areas, the tip. And they are also scattered over here. And they are distinguished by their bright red color. The next are the filiform papillae. The filiform papillae are smaller uh, than the fungiform papillae. But they are, uh, they are numerous. They cover the pre area of the dorsum and they give a velvety appearance. And as I said before, they are most numerous of the papillae. The next are the foliate papillae. These are not so important, the foliate ones. They are, they are in, all you need to know about these are, are their name and that they are very few in number. So now the next very important topic of tongue is the muscles, the muscles of the tongue. So as we know that there are two types of muscles of tongue, intrinsic muscles and extrinsic muscles. The intrinsic muscles help in alter, altering the uh, shape of the tongue or you can say that they in the twisting of tongue. They are longitudinal transverse transverse muscles and vertical muscles now the extrinsic muscles extrinsic muscles are involved in the movement of the tongue so the first one is tyloglossus muscle it comes from behind and for your understanding you can see that it's tyloglossus so you know that glossus is the tongue and this part over here, the stylo part is first sty styloid, um, styloid bone, styloid process. So uh, it's the origin is from the styloid process and it is insertion is on the side of the tongue. Styloid process to the side of the tongue. The second muscle is the palatoglossus muscle. And the palatoglossus muscle is from above, and the palate is above. So the origin is from the palate, uh, the palatine aponeurosis. You can guess it from here, the palate, palato, and the glossus. So that it descends in the palatoglossal arch to the side of the tongue at the junction of the oral and the pharyngeal part. So what it is, and then there is the hyoglossus muscle. The hyoglossus muscle originates from the hyoid bone. It's from below. As the hyoid bone is below. Yes. Then is the genoglossus muscle. We know that the genoglossus, the gen, gen, geno, from geno, we know that it's the uh, genial tubercle of the mandible. 
and it's from front. From Gina, you know that it's, from, it's originating from the genial tubercle of the mandarin. There is one important point about Gino glossus muscle. This muscle is also called the safety muscle of the tongue. So the safety, why is it called the safety muscle of the tongue? Because the this if if this muscle is paralyzed, uh, the tongue will fall back on the oropharynx and block the air passage, and the person will die of suffocation. So uh, this uh, even this muscle is pulled forward when you give anesthesia to a patient. So that's how important this muscle is, the genoclossus muscle. Now let's do the nerve supply. So you need to know that all muscles of the of the tongue are supplied by cranial nerve 12, hypoglossal nerve, except palatoglossus muscle. This muscle is supplied by vagus nerve. One more thing before I move forward is that you need to know that what these muscles, the, the movements of these muscles are very important for your exams. So you need to know that styloglossus retracts the tongue and also elevates. Palatoglossus it elevates the tongue. Iogloses depress and retract. Then is genoglossus, the safety muscle of the tongue, protrudes the tongue. So now the arterial supply of the tongue. The tongue is supplied by the tortuous lingual artery. Why is lingual artery called tortuous artery? It is called tortuous artery as it moves up and down with movements of pharynx. The lingual artery moves up and down with movement of movement of pharynx. This is a uh, Viva question mostly, I think. Okay, so the lingual artery is a branch of external carotid artery. This is a more important point than this point. It's, so the root of tongue is also supplied by tonsillar artery, which is a branch of uh, facial artery, and ascending pharyngeal branch of ascending pharyngeal branch of external carotid. The venous drainage is in internal jugular vein. The lymphatic drainage is very important when it comes to um, tongue. So let's do it. Tip of the tongue drains into the submental nodes, submental lymph nodes, right and left halves of anterior two-third of the tongue drain into the submandibular lymph nodes and a few of them also uh, drain into the deep cervical. The next are the posterior, posterior one-third of the tongue. It drains into the upper, uh, upper deep cervical lymph node including jugulo-digastric nodes. So the whole lymph finally drains into jugulo homohyoid nodes and they are also called the nodes of the tongue I think I'm not sure now let's do the taste pathway I'm doing it in just so that you understand the taste pathway it's not so much detail as much as it's needed so the taste pathway the posterior gyrus starts from the posterior gyrus of cerebral cortex then to thalamus, then to tactus solitarius, it's a nucleus. So to go the nucleus of tactus solitarius. And then to these three nerves, these are the nerves of taste. So this one, uh, seventh, ninth, and tenth cranial nerve, this is how we get the taste. So this is a very important part, the sensory nerves of the tongue. 
so we'll, we'll be talking about the taste and the general sensations so the first is the anterior two-third of the tongue the general sensations of the anterior two-third are from the lingual nerve and the taste is from corda tympani posterior one-third here both the general sensations and the taste are supplied by glossopharyngeal nerve now the posterior most part is supplied by vagus nerve and um, it's through the internal laryngeal branch so this is it i hope you liked the video please share your comments thank you